Well, standard pitching wedge usually goes about 165 yards. Again, the co most common question is, you know, what do I need to do to hit it further? Well, it's not rocket science. We just need to swing this object a little faster. And how we do that is, again, there's a lot of different ways to skin a cab. But what I like to do is good width, so that club comes back. Nice big width. From there, I work right elbow to right hip. That allows me to hit the inside of the golf ball, and from there it's a full extension, get back wide, and that's kind of how I create my speed. So wide, narrow, wide. So standard 165, if I need to hit a little bit further, what I'll do is just swing a little bit faster. Nice and low, that's the flighted shot. It's not working. We'll call that 175. 180. 180. Maybe 185. All right, one more. So guys, if you're watching this, is a 185 pitching wedge. The whole key of this deal is if it can stay up in the air for eight seconds, you've done something correct. That's a key. And then we'll roll into six iron. Is this working? What about here? Better. So six iron, uh, standard six iron usually goes about 225. So we'll start off nice and smooth and then build that speed up. Everyone able to track that ball? See yeah. the ball fall? Yeah. 221, perfect. You get it? All right, we want to hit a little further. We'll just swing a little faster. Again, when we're trying to hit it further, we've got to take the tension out of the hands, and that lets the club set going back. Nice and smooth. Okay. No yardage, Anthony? No, sir. Good. So that's six iron, then we'll roll into the two iron. Um, two iron is a apex utility, 18 degrees. And for me, I'm not a big hybrid guy, so this club's been real good for me. I can hit it high, I can hit it low. So if we need to hit this thing shoulder level, we can do that. Well, that's shoulder level for me. Get that one. Everybody got some action. Club head speed 122, 250 carry, 270 total. I was aiming there. It's the best thing about hitting on a circular driver, they're all straight. Uh, 123 club head speed, 260 total. That was 131 club head speed, 
285 carry and 296 total. All right. That was 188 ball speed, 290 carry, 299.9 total. All right. Then this is the new XR here. This is just the standard model. I've got it. Uh, this is 9 degree head. I've got it uh, in the neutral position, minus one. So we'll just kind of hit some caps down there so we don't kill anybody. Uh, this is a Mitsubishi Ahina 70 gram double X tipped up pretty good so it's pretty stiff. This is my actual gamer shaft that when I play I use. So we'll just hit a few smooth ones to give you guys a idea. Oh that's gonna kill somebody. Four. Four long. <laughs> Pick it up. That was, yeah, that was 315 total. That was club head speed was 143, 327 total, 303 carry. Ball speed was 193. That was 310 total, 139 club head, 195 ball speed. Okay. That's for the dog leg left. Good. All right, then we'll roll into the most common question I get, and that's how's your putting. Obviously not very good, but I've kind of designed a three-shot series with this putter. One club tournament, whatever you want to call it. But this is kind of the easiest way to four putt on a par four, right here. Usually goes about 280, 280-ish, but versatile, so not only can you pot with it, hit it off the tee, if you need to hit it like a 5-iron off the deck, you hit it like a 5-iron, you need to hit it like an 8-iron, you can do that. And then, if you ever do get pretty close, you need to hit it like a wedge. You hit it like a wedge. So that's kind of the multi-purpose club there. Let's do one more off the tee. Guys, that last swing with the putter, club head speed was 116 miles an hour. <laughs> you mean the hall swing? That Correct. Yeah, okay. That's for the right to left breaker. <laughs> so that's the putter shot. And as we get older, we kind of, things don't operate the same way, so we get into a little softer shaft. For all of us that are getting older and don't want to admit it, it's not a bad thing, just a little softer shaft to get that thing lagging behind us. Get this. Is 
So for all you that want to create more distance, we got to create leg, okay? So that's when that club trails behind us. So with a little softer shaft, it'll load a little bit better. So we're just going to load this thing up. Is that picking that up? Yep. We're waiting for it to land. 119 club head speed, 273 total, 261. Speed. How many of you guys would take that right now? How many of you guys want to buy one of these right now? <laughs> After a good one, you always quit. I was 120 club head speed, 303 total, 285 carry. For all you guys looking for a little bit more distance, there's one key that all amateurs don't do, and that's they don't cheat up high enough, okay? You got a deep face driver, you got to cheat up nice and high. That way it takes a lot of the spin off. So aim high toe, cheat up nice and high. Golf's a funny sport. Whether the ball's on the ground, or up in the air, it's always the same action. We're gonna turn behind it, create that whoosh sound, turn through, belt always towards the target. So whether you got a four inch tee or a three foot tee, it's all the same action. Everybody see that? This is maybe trick. It's gonna be on this leg. All right, we'll hit a couple like this and then I'll show you the par three shot that everybody needs to learn. Yeah, I'll just hit one. Backward shot, but here's the par three shot. When you guys get on a par three, so visualize the par three. You've got 215 yards downwind, downhill, over water, front right pin. How are you going to get to it? Most guys are going to be hitting long irons, hybrids. So here's what you got to do: get a driver, a high tee, and what we're going to do is bring this thing in from the heavenlies. Okay, so it's going to come in nice and high, and nice and soft. <laughs> Should be right in front of us, right here. Ready for this? Bite. There you go. So that's for the longer part three. If you gotta bring it in a little shorter. That's backwards. That's behind us. Four. Four. See that little backspin? <laughs> All right, now straight out. That thing does have a lot of spin on it right there. Coming down, right in the middle. Landing, now bite. There, parallel with the red, red flag. So that's the high shot. And then I played some tournament golf, and a big key in tournament golf is accuracy. So what I've designed is a little shorter driver. And this is the fairway finder here. 29 inch driver. Can't get some numbers with it. Did you get that one in? Yes, sir. That was 122 club head speed with a 29 inch driver. That was uh, 260 carry, 273 total. Alright. 124 club head speed, 270 carry, 285 total. Okay. Dog leg right, little cutter up against the wind. All right, one more. He's my hero. You have to do it like that. Oh, I am. questions for Jamie? All right, thank you guys for stopping by Callaway. Appreciate you guys.
Right guys, that was uh, Jamie Sadlowski Clinic. Outrageous, absolutely outrageous. Hopefully you enjoyed it, picked up a lot of good useful tips, also a bit of trickery, but this guy bombs it. I'm gonna try and get a long drive with him now. Thanks for watching guys. Yeah.